In this video, we're going to practice drawing some Lewis dot structures with two relatively simple compounds. The first one is chlorine gas. Uh, chlorine is a diatomic molecule. There are two chlorines bonded together. To draw the Lewis dot structure of chlorine, we first determine how many valence electrons we have. Since we have two chlorine atoms and each chlorine atom has seven valence electrons, that's a total of 14 valence electrons. Next, we arrange the atoms next to each other and draw the bonds. The bond is, a single bond is, consists of two electrons. So now we've used two electrons and we have 12 electrons to go. Our goal is to distribute the remaining electrons so that everyone has a full outer shell, an octet of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. We've used all our valence electrons, 14 in all. Two of them formed the bond, and the remaining 12 filled up each chlorine with a full outer shell. And since everyone has a full outer shell, this is our Lewis dot structure. And some people, instead of drawing the two dots for the bond, the two electrons, prefer a line instead. And that's equally acceptable. This would be the Lewis dot structure of chlorine gas, Cl2. Let's look at carbon disulfide. We need to first count the number of valence electrons. Carbon brings four valence electrons to the table, and each sulfur brings six electrons. So since we have two sulfur atoms, that's 12 electrons altogether. So we have 16 valence electrons to work with. We then arrange the atoms with the singular atom, the carbon, in the middle, and we draw our bonds. Remember, each bond consists of two electrons. So now we've used up four electrons altogether, and we have 12 electrons left over. Remember, we're going to distribute the remaining electrons so that each atom has a full outer shell, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So we, we've distributed all 16 electrons, but notice that carbon in the middle only has four electrons, not eight. When we don't have enough electrons to go around, we try double and triple bonds. So what we can do is remove two electrons from the sulfur on the right, and form a double bond between carbon and sulfur. So the sulf sulfur on the right still has eight valence electrons, and now carbon has six, which is better than four. But let's do the same thing with the sulfur on the left. We'll take two electrons from the sulfur and add them to the bond. And so now the sulfur on the left still has eight electrons, but carbon now has a total of eight electrons as well in those two double bonds. A double bond consists of four electrons as opposed to two. And of course, we can replace those dots with lines for the bonds. And of course, they'd be double lines because it's a double bond. And this would be the Lewis dot structure of carbon disulfide. Thanks for watching. If you want more chemical bonding help, go to purplebonding.com and I'll even send you a free gift. This is Melanie Fine of Chem and 10.